This is the brand new 2015 40 R Journey or Meridian by Winnebago Industries. One of our first new Class A diesel pusher floor plans in some time. This one's based on a Freightliner chassis, which is a drop rail configuration. To that, we add our Maxim structure. By adding the Maxim chassis, we're actually making this seven times stronger than a traditional stacked rail. Gives us better ride, better handling, lower center of gravity. One of the real keys is everybody wants to take tons of items along with them, so you can see that we have the largest pass-through storage bin in the industry. I've got this slide-out tray pulled out. has an outside TV, new for 2015. We've added a subwoofer and a sound bar. More of the great storage space. This bin actually has one of the options, which is the outside refrigerator-freezer combo. Then we've got a smaller couple of bins back here in the back, which would just be good for utility items. Maybe a couple extra quarts of DEF or something kind of small like that. As we walk around the back of the coach, full fiberglass cap. This motorhome was built with option 35Q, which is the rear ladder. The extension was on that slide out tray. You can actually get it either with or without the ladder. It has an 8.9 liter, 380 horse Cummins diesel engine and a 3000 series Allison transmission. When we look at kind of the business end of this compartment, or this compartment is the business end, we can see the resettable breakers. Should the house batteries ever go completely dead, there's two remote charging posts. You would simply hook your battery charger there. You have the two chassis batteries in that compartment as well. The DEF tank, as well as the power cord, got room to store some other items in there. Another storage bin. This is kind of the central utility compartment. You can see the motorhome has a whole coach water filter, hot and cold water. One of the things that really makes our motorhomes different is you can see the convenience, water pumps, light switches, but we have a secondary leveling switch out here. So if we were packing up the coach or we just pulled it on site, we can pick up the levelers. Now we're looking at the other side of the tray here. You can see that hatch. That's where the six AGM house batteries reside. Those all operate through a 2800 watt inverter. So we kind of come around the side of the motorhome. We notice the port for the dual fuel fill. This has an 8000 watt Onan generator, which is on a manual slide out if we needed to access the generator for service, or we could also access the coach's air system if we need to air up a tire or something like that. Now, let's go up inside the new 40R and take a look. I think you're going to be impressed with the interior styling. In the dash, we're still using the large 10 and a quarter inch monitor with the Rand McNally base navigation system. The smaller screen that's above that is the backup camera. Now one thing that has changed for 2015 is it's now much easier to swivel the driver's seat all the way around. Now we're just taking a look front to back on this motorhome. You can see the very distinctive styling as we come inside. For convenience, we have located the front slide room controls in this cabinet just above the step well. So right when you hop in the coach, you can easily slide out the rooms. As with all of our journeys and meridians, they feature the matrix system, which gives us true HD signal to all the TVs. What really makes this one unique is on this side of the coach, we have the cooktop. See the high polish Corian countertops and the great backsplash. We've also added a pot filler over here. So if we were cooking uh, some pasta or something like that, there's no need to move the pan back and forth. We have a water source there. A huge cabinet just above, great place to store cooking items. The large residential refrigerator. Notice the porcelain tile on the floor. Residential style, galley faucet, Tons of drawers and storage space. For 2015 in the Journey or Meridian lineup, you can notice how much bigger the windows are. We've increased the window size. 
In the 40R, we've also equipped it with a flex steel sofa right across from a 55-inch TV. That TV will swing off the wall. You can see another one of the large windows. Now on the dining table, what's unique is it will actually move left to right. So there's a little lever down here and we can actually move the table all the way over or just adjust it side to side to fit whatever we're using. The fireplace, we look back in the bedroom, you're noticing the full tile on the floor back in the bedroom. The half bath in the center still has the same high polished Corian and backsplash, the same wooden treatment around the windows as what we saw in the front part of the coach. A tremendous amount of closet space back here. You have his and hers closets on either side. There's also an adjustable or removable shelf at the base of that closet. The, t the TV flips up, there's storage behind it. Again, seeing the high polish, Corian, the backsplash. The stackable washer and dryer, this is an option. If we would happen not to want this option, this would just be more storage space. This is a unique item. This is the pull-out pantry or linen closet for the bath area. Instead of having to reach all the way in there, notice how easily this pulls out. Great place to store towels and items like that. Winnebago's big shower. We've actually used a residential style faucet and shower head in here. Also molded into this shower stall is a, a step or a seat, which is just a nice convenience item to have. Very large. Heading back up towards the front, front of the motorhome, past the air adjustable bed. This has been the 2015 40R by Winnebago Industries.